Hi everybody, um, this is Rafi from R Racing and we just thought we'd take the opportunity to uh, show you some of the components with our RCF, ISF and GSF supercharger kits and just show you some of the differences between the street kit and the higher level kits that we offer. And at the very end of this um, presentation we're going to put the red level on the dyno and show you some of our latest numbers with the brand new C38R Roadtrek Supercharger. So, as far as the differences between the street kit, which sells for around $6,000, versus our higher end kits, um, I'm gonna go over just uh, some of the differences with the components and just show you the different components that we offer. Um, to start, we have the uh, damper, the, the harmonic damper for the crankshaft. And with our street kits, we actually use the stock damper. And what we do is we CNC machine a ring, and this ring is used to drive the supercharger uh, separately from the accessories. So we, we're still driving the supercharger separately from the accessories, we're just doing it with the stock balancer. And that saves uh, on the cost. Um, our higher end kits use this uh, CNC machine damper which actually consists of three pieces. Uh, the inner piece is a aerospace grade stainless steel hub, which is very strong in order to um, accept all the load from the supercharger. And the aluminum portion is to reduce weight. And the very outer portion is an ATI super damper that is specifically tuned to the power output of the supercharger in order to reduce harmonic vibrations from the engine and also improve reliability. So again, I just want to emphasize, we are driving the supercharger completely separate from all the accessories, and that's one of the keys to reliability. So another difference between the street kit and our uh, higher end kits is the fact that our street kit does not have an intercooler. And one of the reasons we can get away without having an intercooler is that we're only running about five or six PSI of boost, and that doesn't really heat up the air very much. Uh, in order to compensate for the lack of an intercooler, uh, we do require that you run higher octane fuel. So you can either blend in some ethanol or you can run our water methanol injection system that is an add-on uh, extra. Um, now this is our intercooler for our uh, higher end kits and it has a, quite a big core. It's four and a half inch wide and it is almost 12 inches tall. So it has very low um, pressure loss. It's also made by Bell Intercoolers right here in the USA and um, works very well in the higher end applications. Uh, one other difference between the street kit and our other kits is the fact that on the street kit we only use one blow-off valve. Now this is a big blow-off valve. It's bigger than a lot of the blow-off valves that uh, you know, you'll find on domestic kits. But we actually find that for really high stress applications like road racing, um, we prefer to use two blow off valves because when you're constantly on and off throttle, uh, it, it really improves the reliability of the whole system if you relieve the pressure very quickly so that you get less stress on the supercharger itself, on the belt, on pulleys and things like that. Uh, the last dif major difference between the street kits and our other kits, our higher end kits, is the tensioner that we use. Now, the tensioner uh, that we use in the street kits is, is uh, still a good tensioner. We use our own uh, billet pulley that has a double bearings inside. Um, but on our higher end kits, we actually use a billet tensioner uh, that actually is able to tension the belt with much greater tension than our standard tensioner. And that's important once you start upgrading to the higher stages that we offer and higher boost levels. Because without enough tension, you will get some belt slip and it's really required for the higher end kits. So you can, you can purchase the street kit now and you can rest assured that in the future you can always upgrade all these components. Or you can just be happy with the street kit which is still plenty powerful and you can still get to, you know, easily in the 500 wheel horsepower range plus. And, uh, and have a fast car. Now, one last thing we want to show you guys today is what we've been working on last year. And uh, last year, Roadtrex came out with a brand new supercharger. It's called the C38R. 
and it's capable of over 900 horsepower. So we've been running that on the Red Devil, and um, we've been running it all last summer, uh, probably about seven track days, and it's performed flawlessly, and we really managed to tune that well. Um, so here you can see the two superchargers side by side. On the left is the C3892, which is what we use on all of our other kits, and this is the C38R, which is the new supercharger that we have tested. And we're going to start offering um, immediately this year. So there's a couple, two major differences. Of course, the impeller is much bigger on the C38R, and the bearing side is also much more robust in order to handle the higher loads that you see with a bigger supercharger. But basically, the dimensions are the same, so it's a direct drop-in for anybody who already has a C38 supercharger can simply exchange one for the other and all it requires is a new supercharger unit and a new pulley that is specifically made for this supercharger. So now um, we're gonna start up the Red Devil and we're gonna see what it can do on the dyno with a new C38R and some um, methanol injection.